JVC Limited forfeited 200 shares of 10 each issued at a premium of 2 per share for the non-payment of allotment money of 3 per share including premium that is 1 rupee capital 2 rupees premium on allotment. The first and final call of 4 per share has not been made. 50 percent of the forfeited shares were reissued at rupees 8 per share as fully paid up. Pass necessary journal entries for the forfeiture and reissue of shares. In the books of a JVC Limited, working notes, note 1, distribution of amount and number of installments, application rupees 5, allotment rupee 1 plus rupees 2 that is 200 cross. First and final call that is rupees 4, the total is rupees 10 plus 2 that is equal to rupees 12. Here first and final call has not been made, it should be crossed, cut. Number of shares forfeited 200, number of shares reissued 100. Then we are supposed to pass journal entries for forfeiture and reissue of shares. Note to amount of a capital reserve in case of partial reissue. The formula is amount forfeited by number of shares forfeited into number of shares reissued minus discount on reissue. That is equal to 100, 200 shares are forfeited and we have collected, collected application money that is 200 into 5. 1000 by number of shares forfeited 200 into number of shares reissued 100 half share reissued minus discount on reissue that is 100 shares reissued at 8 that means discount on reissue is 100 into 2 200 that is equal to rupees 300 then fair notes journal entries of jvc limited share capital account debited that is share capital account debited 200 shares called up being application and allotment that is 200 into 6 1200 6 called up securities premium reserve please write down reserve is different from this that is rupees 2 that is 200 into 2 400 if a premium has not been received it will be debited to forfeited shares account that is amount collected on forfeited shares is rupees 5 5 an application has been collected that is 200 into 5000 rupees to share allotment account amount not collected including premium 1 rupee capital 2 rupee premium that is 3 rupees 200 into 3, 600 for allotment. Being 200 shares, rupees 6 called up, forfeited for non payment of a share allotment money of rupees 3 per share, including securities premium of rupees 2 per share. Then journal entry for reissue. 100 shares has been reissued at rupees 8 per share, fully called up. Bank account debited 100 into 8, 800. Forfeited shares account debited 100 into 2, discount on reissue 200. Two share capital account that is 100 into 10, that is 1000. Being 100 shares reissued at rupees 8 per share fully paid up, that means rupees 10 paid up. Then discount, then profit on forfeiture and reissue. Forfeited shares account debited to capital reserve account. Being profit on forfeiture and partial reissue of shares transferred to capital reserve account, note 2. That is amount of a capital reserve in case of partial reissue. Amount forfeited by number of shares forfeited into number of shares reissued minus discount on reissue that is rupees 1000 by 200 shares into 100 shares reissued minus rupees 200 discount on reissue 
that is equal to rupees 300 forfeited shares account debited to capital reserve account that is debit 300 credit 300 being profit and forfeiture and partial ratio of shares transferred to capital reserve account as per note 2 then journal is always to be totaled that is rupees 4600 debit rupees 4600 credit this is the final answer